Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. It is a beautiful day here in East Tennessee. There's some construction going on down at the old hotel, so I'm sorry for the noise. But I've had a lot of viewers request that I do a video on small-scale electrolysis for coins and buttons and that sort of thing. Now, this is not a process I would recommend to you. Um, it can be very destructive to your relics. It's certainly not a process I would normally use on cleaning my relics, but a lot of people have asked. So I thought I'd show you exactly what happens when you do small-scale electrolysis. And who knows, it might turn out great, it might turn out terrible. But we're going to try it. I'll show you the things you need to do it and tell you where you can get them. And we'll see how it goes. So let's get started and I'll show you the components you're going to need. So here's the items we're going to need to do this electrolysis. I'm using Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. You can get this in the detergent aisle at uh, big name grocery stores, Walmart, that sort of thing. I also got these little clamp wires at Walmart. They uh, have these little alligator clips. And then they have a red wire and a black wire that goes to another set of alligator clips. So we're going to use those. And I'm also going to use these little square nails, little iron square nails, so for my anodes. And we'll be using a 9 volt battery just because it's easy to clip onto these. Aside from that, you just need a little tub to hold your water and the relic that you're going to try and do electrolysis to. So this is the button I'm going to attempt electrolysis on. It's some sort of flower button. And as you can see, there's a lot of corrosion on this. I've tried to clean it several times. Nothing's really gotten that corrosion off of there. So we're going to try it out today. See how this electrolysis does for this button. And if we can get it any cleaner. Alright, so we hooked up the positive cable to the positive end of the 9 volt battery. And the negative to the negative end of the 9 volt battery. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of reaction going on down there. You can already see some discoloration coming off into the water. So we're going to run this for about 10 minutes and take a look at it, see where we're at. So as you guys can see, a lot of stuff has already started to build up in here. Let's go ahead and disconnect the battery here and pull out the coin or the button and have a look. Alright, so a lot of this stuff's starting to come off. And it's starting to get, if you see that black, I believe that's actually magnesium that forms during the process of uh, the electrolysis. But you can see how it's taking the button down to more of a coppery color. That gilt's going to be gone off of it when I'm done. So let's put it back in for a little while. Well, it's been about 30 minutes now. Definitely starting to get some result. Um, some of those letters are starting to pop out a little more on the back mark. And the front's getting some of the gunk gone. But it's taken on that kind of cleaned copper brass look though. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into the, uh, the electrolysis for a little bit longer. Alright guys, well I kind of forgot about this and as you can see the water's gotten really cloudy. Let's go ahead and pull the coin or the button out. Have a look. <clears throat> now as you can see this has gotten really cleaned up and shiny. And it has gone a lot further than I would ever normally clean a relic. Um, because it kind of loses its relic quality at this point to me. It begins to look more like a button I pulled out of my grandmother's sewing drawer. And a relic I dug up. 
That's definitely about as far as I'm going to go with this button. But I think that's a good example of just how much electrolysis, electrolysis can clean these types of buttons and coins up. You just have to be very careful. This is a sturdy one-piece button. Um, some, some more delicate items might completely disintegrate under this uh, type of treatment. So keep that in mind. Don't do this to anything you're completely in love with. If you guys enjoyed that little look at small scale electrolysis, I'm sorry there haven't been more videos lately. I've been overwhelmingly busy with business and my detectors have been down so I haven't been doing a lot of detecting but I got my detector back. I'm hoping it's working right. I'm gonna be on the road for the next few weeks uh, doing some detecting hard, trying to finish out the summer strong in the water. And I got a new daily series coming up soon. Just kind of working out the front end details of that. But I'm looking forward to getting that started again back in the groove doing daily videos. So appreciate all your guys' support. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below in the comment section. And we'll talk to you soon.